And welcome to week four of Friday Night Lights brought to you by Isabella Bank. I'm Scott Johnson. This is Jason Fielder. Our DTE game of the night. Standish Sterling at Millington. Two undefeated teams. And you guys voted on that on WNEM.com earlier this week. You can always vote. Each week we have three candidates every week on WNEM.com for our DTE game of the week. Great choice, Scott. Absolutely. Let's go ahead and get to a stand at Sterling and Millington. And happy seventh birthday to Hudson. He's the son of Millington coach Lenny Dantine here. Pick it up in the third quarter. Millington up 14-0. Cardinals looking for more. Owen Butterfield here. The run for the touchdown. He's in. Just like that, it's 21 to nothing in favor of the Cards. But the Panthers answer back here. Danish Sterling's Brett Bartlett here. The pass to Truman King. And he's got it. And he's down the sideline. And he's going to get stopped inside the red zone there. The Panthers finish the drive here with Lane. Two bolts here. Goes in for the touchdown. The two-pointer made it 21 to 8. Fourth quarter, though. Bartlett's pass is going to end up getting uh, picked off here by Drew Kinn and the Cardinals go on to win this one 21 to 8 the final in our DTE game of the week. Two more undefeated teams Freeland visiting Essexville Garber first Freeland drive Nathan Helmreich nine yards and in two point conversion makes it eight to nothing Garber would fumble the ball away Freeland facing fourth and 11 at the 31 Bryson Huckabee to Grant Backos. And he is tackled inside the five. That would lead to Garrett Pistro diving in from a few yards out. It is 16-0 Freeland. Finally, Garber gets something going. Check this out. Tommy Sapansky, Logan Anthony just runs through tackles and then shows off his speed. 63-yard touchdown, but it's all Falcons from there. Freeland wins big, 43-14. All right, Bullet Creek and Carlton during the half. Uh, Carlton recognized our armed forces and first responders and had a moment of silence and a 21-gun salute for those who lost their lives in Afghanistan. End of the first half, less than 10 seconds to play, and the Cavs beat the clock as DJ Fultz hits Dre Gissendanner for the touchdown, and Carlton led 32-6 at the break. Third quarter, Bullet Creek puts together a drive to get those points back. Carter Campo gets in from a couple yards out to close the gap, but the night belongs to Carlton. Check out Bolts here. As he heads left, disappears, and then it's going to come right back at you. This could be the hurly play of the night. Check it out. Nice run. Carlton wins 44-21. Frankie Muth, host banger John Glenn. The Eagles looking like another deep playoff run. If they can continue on this trend, boy, were they good tonight. Cole Lindau. Gets in, short scored 7 0. They get the ball back. Aiden Horde with the keeper. It's 14 zip. Then the defense comes through. John Glenn tries to get back in it. Wyatt Wyrowski's pass. What a pick by Floyd Atwood. He climbs the ladder and then he shows off his speed. He will house it. That makes it 21 0. And the booth goes on to win big 54 to zip. Military Appreciation Night at Montrose High School. The Rams and Chesterding both wore some awesome patriotic uniforms in this one. Check those things out, Jason. Awesome. Amazing. And around Owen Emmendorfer, who has uh, the ball knocked loose, and it's going to end up getting recovered here by Tyler Sager. Montrose gets the ball back. Emmendorfer here, this time right up the middle and in for the touchdown, just like that. 35 0 Montrose. Chesterding trying to make it respectable when Sager's pass is tipped by I. Guzak. And picked up by Jackson Perrin. And that's going to seal the shutout. Montrose wins it 35 to nothing. A Western theme for the Lake Fenton student section. Blue Devils host the Corona Cavs. First quarter this one. Corona's Jaden Herrick throws a jump ball. And he's lucky. His buddy, Buddy Wyatt, or Buddy Wyatt Bauer, I should say, comes down with it. But then he'd fumble it, trying to fight for yards. Ball still loose. Cavs would eventually recover. They would not score on the drive. Second quarter, Reed Schumacher, Maverick Merrill wide open. Then it's a foot race. And he is caught outside of the 10-yard line, but 76-yard gain. A couple plays later, Lucas Storm scores to make it 7-0. Corona, though, Herrick, beautiful touch. 
to Tarek Bauer. That would tie it up, but it'd be all Lake Fenton from there as the Devils win at 32-13. Well, we're just getting started here on Friday Night Lights, brought to you by Isabella Bank. we got the Hurley Medical Center play of the night coming up. Check out all the scores on our Tropical Smoothie Cafe uh, ticker down below. But here are the Dow Chargers to help you get fired up.